Welcome back to the channel everyone. Um, today, another product review. Uh, this time it is from Barber's Bay and the Bearded Berserker. Um, but before I get on to that, I'm, I am going to be cutting my hair a bit later on. So I'll probably be posting a video on that. Um, and probably a routine after the shower kind of uh, video. So, product today is the Bearded Berserker and the Barber's Bay Nordic Blend. I'll just show you these. There we are, both in 30ml, this is a 30ml tin, 30ml bottle, uh, glass bottle. And I just want to run through the ingredients on here. So we do have in the oil, fractionated coconut oil, flaxseed, grapeseed oil, vitamin E, macadamia nut oil, and then in the balm, there is beeswax, grapeseed oil, fine coconut oil, and vitamin E. Right, so both of these on the Barber's Bay website. Um, for the balm, it's £10 for the 30ml tin. And for the oil, it's £15. So I'll be putting the link down in the description as well. So there'll be a link to Barber's Bay, Barber's Bay website and there will be a link to uh, the YouTube channel of the Bearded Berserker um, and I'll also put his Instagram down below at Viking Beard Matt. Got great content on his channel, uh, great content on his Instagram. Uh, his pictures are really incredible the way he designs them. Um, so yeah, definitely go and follow him. And like you say, subscribe to his channel. Amazing content from him. <clears throat> so what they've done, they've done like a collaboration. Um, he wanted to do sort of like a Viking theme uh, for the oil and the bomb. So what we've got, I'm going to start with the oil. Um, like what scent and what's in there. So let's open this one up. Yeah, yeah, it's very, very strong. Um, they did actually put up the, it wasn't for the faint answered. And you can see why. I mean, the scent is very, very powerful. Very smoky. Very smoky. Um, and Barber's Bay did actually send me these out just to say, like, we'll send you these. Uh, it's up to you. We don't know if you're going to like them. Um, it's a bit of a gamble. But I think it's a gamble that's paid off. I really do. Uh, it's definitely get this. The campfire and leather. Um, there's also woody notes in there. Definitely very mossy. Yeah. It's definitely very strong. But um, for me... It's a lot different to the, you know, the same cedar wood, same um, sandalwood, citrus, all that. For me, this is something I've been looking for. Um, a powerful scent, you know, that's going to last hours. And for me, this is lasting three hours plus. Very strong, but it's not a knockout punch like it. It's not overwhelming, uh, really powerful. But, I mean, even the logo on this, <clears throat> they've done a fantastic job. The blending is perfect. Um, and for me, now, I think I could see me buying this. Um, I don't know if they're going to be making any more. But, I mean, I, I, I'm definitely a fan. Definitely a fan of it. Like you say, um... Yeah, yeah, it's so, I don't know, it's one of those addicting scents, like, I know for a lot of people, I mean, that might not be for everyone, but for me, I was looking for something a little different, a bit unique, and that's what Barber's Bay do, um, they, they get, like, all these unique scents, they blend them together, uh, they don't play it safe, they're always trying to top the last product that they've that they've produced before 
And for me, I mean, you probably won't find this scent in anything else. Um, and that's what makes them unique, unusual, in a good way. Um, I, I really love this. Definitely, uh, we'll be getting some more. But, we'll talk about the uh, Honey Mead Balm. Now this, oh, I've not had a balm that smells that good in a long time. The honey just hits you, but it's not, it's not a really strong honey. It's really subtle, really, really sweet, really, <clears throat> it's a really nice smell. So you can either have this in on its own, um, and the scent for this lasts what two hours plus uh, that I've noticed I've actually got just the balm in today um, really nice like I say I really love that that honey mead um, but the idea is to blend them together so and I have tried that as well so I put about four drops um, of the oil into my beard like usually so you can see there, it's like a yellow, it's like almost clear. Uh, it's not a very thick oil, and you don't need you don't need a lot because the scent is really, you know, it's strong. It's really pungent. Um, but why do I put that in my beard? Probably about four drops of that <clears throat> in the morning. Put it through, and then I'll add the honeymead uh, balm and. I am so surprised with how they work together. Like they, I don't know, they just sort of like feed off each other and it is the smell. I mean, together they last hours uh, when, you both, when you've got both of them in. Um, and I mean, I've, I've even had compliments from, from using both. It was like, oh, you smell really nice. They thought it was um, the cologne, like the perfume that I was wearing, the aftershave. And they they sort of like they leaned in to smell, and I was like, "Oh, it's coming from your face." And it was these two together that I was using. Um, and I was like, "Hmm, smells really manly," and that is the one thing I can really say. I mean, the Nordic blend, so it's Vikings and all that, um, which I'm really into. It's it's sort of like a manly smell, right? The wood, the woodsy notes, the moss. Um, it is. I mean, I can even smell it still on the still on the tip. Um, but yeah, that is what you get from the Nordic blend. Um, really manly sort of scent. Uh, I I'm in love with it. I think it's really nice. The blending that they've done over at Barber's Bay, um, absolutely top. Really incredible stuff, the way they blend. Um, and like I say, the the other oils and the the other scents that they do it, like especially the snake venom. I'll be doing a review on that from Barber's Bay pretty soon. The balm and the oil. Um, it's not it's not um, just a carbon copy of another company or carbon copy of citrus again or cedarwood or the you know, the, the um, scents you get from every other company. Um, these are doing something different at Barber's Bay. Uh, I cannot fault them one tiny bit. Uh, they, for me, they are the company to beat at the moment. Uh, from the reviews I've done, from the companies I've tried, these are on top of the game at the moment. They're killing it. Um, and the amount of new products coming out, um, just the design, the names of them, the logos, they cannot, like, for me, they cannot be beaten at the minute. The unusual sense that they're using, um, the unusual, the blending of them, like, the, the way, I mean, in the snake venom, there's, like, auger wood and the ode, um, it is... I mean, that's top quality stuff anyway. But for me, the Bearded Berserker and the Barber's Bay Nordic Blend, definitely a 5 out of 5. I'd give them more if I could. Um, 
definitely be getting some more when this runs out but I can see it lasting a long time uh, you don't need too much of the oil you only need probably about for my size beard probably I am using three four drops um, if I've had like a shower and I've washed it um, with beard wash and things like that but you don't need a lot it's very powerful stuff um, but in a good way I I can't say enough about it so yeah definitely a 5 out of 5 for me so like I said before I'll be putting the links um, down in the description my Instagram will be down there as well um, and Viking Beard Mats will be down in the description, so definitely go and follow him uh, and subscribe to his YouTube channel, which is The Bearded Berserker, <clears throat> which is on there. Great content um, from him, so that will be in the link as well down there. And yeah, the link to the Barber's Bay website, their Instagram, everything um, I'll put down there. You can also buy these off Amazon as well. So definitely, definitely go check these out um, and check out the website as well because they are doing some fantastic blends. Um, you cannot, cannot fault them at the moment. Like I said, they, for me, top of the game, um, the premium products they use. And it just goes to show you, you don't have to spend massive amount of money uh, to get premium products. And this absolutely shows that. So, well done to Barber's Bay, well done to the Bearded Berserker, um, and I cannot wait to see what else they're going to be doing in the future. Whether it be together, they might do another blend, um, or just on their own. Barber's Bay, they've got some more products coming out, some more fantastic um, scents as well, very interesting ones that I can't wait to check out. So, yeah. That is my review of the Bearded Berserker Barber's Bay Nordic Blend, the oil and the balm. So yes, please go and check them out. You won't be disappointed. Um, like I say, it's not for everyone, but if you really want that manly, uh, Viking, campfirey smell, um, mellowed out with the honeymead, definitely, definitely can't go wrong with that. Right. I'm going to leave this episode here. Like I said, there will be another video up later on, probably of me shaving my head. Um, so it hasn't been done in, well, I don't even know how long, probably about a couple of weeks. Um, so, yeah, that will be coming up pretty soon. And, yeah, that is my review. So I hope you have a, all have a great rest of your day out there, uh, wherever you are. And I'll catch you in the next one. So bye-bye for now.